What's up guys, it's Prime, we're bringing you a new video, any day guys. Today I'm bringing you another cook home. And uh, yeah, right now I'm just cruising in my uh, Proto or whatever the fuck you call it. This is a really nice car, I really love it. I think the color kind of matches with it, maybe not, I don't know. I think it looks dope, honestly. Let me know what you guys think because I definitely like it a lot. But yeah guys, today I'm gonna be talking about why I turned off my comment and basically the whole background story. I was gonna do a sit down and talk, like I did that the first time, but then I recorded it. I did it and I even tweeted on Twitter saying, you know, this video it isn't good, so I'm like, I'm just gonna redo it. If you guys are watching this, like, damn, I'm still uploading daily. I'm sorry, it's probably gonna be super late, up at like 9. But yeah, I hope you guys still enjoy the video. I think it's still gonna be an enjoyable video, and hope you guys understand where I'm coming from. And literally, this is just like Morgz's like video from the day. Like, it's literally just like that. Like, I like Morgz personally, like, like, you know, we follow each other on Twitter and shit. It was pretty dope. But basically, this is literally just like Morgz, but like a slight amount different. I don't really like to talk about this that much because he said if I talk about it, I'm gonna have consequences. I'm just like, what the fuck? You know, I'm pretty sure a kid's gonna kind of show this to like a teacher and then they're gonna report it to the principal, to the assistant, and then he's gonna call me down. I'm gonna get in trouble. I'm gonna. I bet I'm gonna get suspended and then some shit like that. Someone's gonna be a little snitch. Someone's just gonna bitch about it. So if I get in trouble and I don't upload for a couple days, you guys know why. So yeah, I hope you guys understand if I don't upload. <laughs> but yeah. Alright guys, so a month or two after school started, basically, uh, I was kind of getting into a little bit of trouble because, you know, that's when Apex kind of shouted me out. That's when my channel was doing, like, not as good as me anymore. So at this time, I had a lot of hackers on me. Like, a lot of hackers just wanted to hack me. They did they just wanted to do so much shit to me. Like, they wanted to swap me. They wanted to hack me. They wanted to get my docs. It was just an awful experience. It really was. But now, I like over all that. Like, I'm, I'm not scared of any anymore by getting swatted or shit like that. I'm not scared about getting docs. I mean... For fuck's sake, I could care less. I mean, yeah, it would kind of suck, but I mean, I I really don't don't give a fuck. So yeah, guys, basically, uh, so yeah, a month or two after school started. And by the way, guys, if you guys have seen the gameplay kind of laggy, this is my Xbox. This is like my Xbox being super fucking laggy for some reason. So excuse that. But yeah, so I was having some problems, and basically, someone threatened to, uh, you know, you guys can probably assume the rest. I'm not gonna say the word because then he's gonna get super pissed. Basically, they threatened to send that to my school, and they sent a. I'm I'm not gonna say exactly what the threat was, but it was pretty bad, I won't lie. Like, it's something that if you actually did as a prank, you're gonna get fucking, like, life in prison or some shit like that. So, you don't wanna fuck with it, but basically, uh, so yeah, I was having problems. I got a threat to get, you know, what you guys can probably assume what's gonna happen. Or, like, the actual day that it happened, I was like, is this gonna actually happen? I was so scared, I was just like, oh my god, I am so fucked. I was so scared, I was just like, god damn it. So yeah, my principal, the next day, he called me in because I posted the pictures on Snapchat and those screenshots of the DMs and basically I said in Snapchat, you know, this actually happens. I'm so sorry. I don't mean to hurt anyone if anyone gets hurt or, shit or some shit like that. And I, you know, that was actually calling me from my heart. I was being fucking dead serious. Yeah, I was scared shitless. And then the next day, somehow, he already found out. I'm just like, what the fuck? How did he find out already? I mean, yeah, I was gonna tell the principal, obviously, that, you know, it was gonna happen. But I was like, damn, like, I didn't think he would find out that fast. Because I literally got called down, like, an hour after school started. So I'm like, oh my god, how the fuck does he already know? So I'm like, okay, shit, how the fuck am I gonna explain this? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get fucked. I'm in trouble. But I mean, I wasn't technically in trouble because I didn't do anything. So yeah, basically, they like to threaten you with that shit. And then and some fake hacker was assuming threatened to hack me and he threatened to dox me and do some other more bad stuff. So yeah, my principal, he called me in the office to talk with him. Basically, I talked with him about it and I'm like, look man, I don't have anything to do with it. I honestly don't know who the fuck this guy is. I, I don't know. I don't have anything to do with him. He randomly DM'd me. I, I think I even told him that I think someone's just pranking, but like I was super scared at the time because at this time I was super new with these type of stuff about dealing with hackers and shit like that really so i was obviously scared he can come from my point so yeah basically we talked about it then he told me to block him and then me being a dumbass i didn't block him i forgot to i, I forgot to go home and block him the thing that kind of pissed me off what the fuck he did was basically he's like all right i'm gonna have to confiscate your phone for the rest of the day i just don't trust you with it. i'm just like what the fuck bro like he took my phone just because he thought i was gonna fucking like tell the guy to fucking actually do it i'm not fucking stupid i wouldn't let some shit like that happen. I wouldn't let that happen. But yeah, he just took took my phone. And I'm just like, what the fuck, man? You know, it really did piss me off. Like it really ticks me off, as people say in English. So yeah, it really got me mad. I'm just like, 
Block man. So yeah, then the next day I forgot to block him. I, I got my phone back, forgot to block him, and then I'm just like, shit. And then he was counting down 46 hours. 43 hours. And you guys can imagine the rest. And then I told the principal the next day, you know, look if this, this is gonna actually fucking go down. Holy shit. Because the officer at my school, the principal, every teacher was looking outside to see if it was gonna fucking happen. Like, they were literally outside waiting for this shit to happen because of a fucking fake hacker. I'm just like, fuck me. So the next day he called my mom. He told her to come to the office with, uh, you know, to conference with us about my channel and shit like that. So the first thing my principal said, and my officer, Okay, look, the officer at my school, fucking dope. I love him. You know, Mr. W, you're the dope. You're fucking dope, dude. I love you so much, bro. But honestly, like, the first thing my assistant principal told me, he was like, you know, look, Chris, I think causing all these problems to our school, I think you should just delete your fucking channel. And I started tearing up. I'll admit, I started fucking crying. I was super sad. I'm like, what the fuck, man? I can't delete my channel. This is stupid. It's just for a fucking threat. Can't be real. So he's like, if this ever happens again, there's gonna be consequences. And then in my mind, I'm like, what the fuck? How can I prevent this? Like, how can I not prevent something happening like this? Because, you know, I can't really say, oh, this is just gonna happen this day. Or it's not gonna happen this day. Oh, this guy sent a threat. Is it gonna happen? Oh, I'm assuming it's gonna happen. I can't say it's gonna happen or not because, like, it's really not my choice. It's the fucking hacker's choice. So what the Fuck he's gonna do. So I'm just like, oh my god, it's not my fault. So he saw me, oh the blah blah. And so you gotta look at the pros and cons and shit. I'm just like, oh my god. so yeah, he was just like, he told me to delete my channel. I'm just like, no, bro, I, I can't do that. And you know, ever since that, I haven't got a threat, thankfully. Uh, like they even comment our, my school name, which is kind of scary. So then he was like, you know, you you're, you're getting all these insults. You're getting hurt. I can see it. And I wasn't getting hurt. It's just that he thought the insults were actually fu fu fucking hurting me in the comments. I won't lie. I'm still do her me but not as much anymore like they don't affect me like I, I mean i could care less so yeah basically that's why i had to delete my comments or like make my comments approved so basically you have to go and i have to go approve them and approve every single comment if i really want to so basically that's why my comments are like kind of disabled they're not necessarily disabled they're just approved so i have to approve them but basically now and on you guys can comment whatever the fuck you guys want i don't care anymore uh you know it sucks because i don't want to get a lot of hate like my last video i won't lie it was kind of clickbait but i mean it was fucking worth it i mean it, it did good so yeah guys that's basically the end of the video but yeah that's basically why i had to delete my comments it kind of did suck because i definitely love reading comments but yeah guys the comments are back so comment whatever the fuck you want uh and i'm sorry i keep cussing i really need to stop cussing but yeah guys hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll uh, see you guys in the next one peace out guys